have our pivot table which has the financial year and sales region in the row labels and the sum of sales in the values area. And now we're going to insert a slicer. So we'll go to the pivot table tools options tab and choose insert slicer. And here we are going to choose the quarters, so sales quarter, and then press OK. And we can resize it and then move it up here. So we have our slicer for our pivot table number one here. So we're going to insert a new pivot table now. So let's go to our data set. And in there we can choose insert pivot table. And let's put it into our existing worksheet. And we can move it in here and press OK. And now we're going to put the salesperson in the row labels, the sales month in the row labels, and the sales in the values area. And we'll get out of that. And we have our second pivot table. Now this pivot table is called pivot table number four. And this pivot table here is called pivot table one. And we can change this to pivot table number two just for our example. Now let's insert a slicer for our pivot table number two. And let's choose the products slicer and put it in there. So let's resize it. Okay, so if we choose that, then our pivot table number two on the right hand side gets updated accordingly. Now what we want to do is connect these two slicers. So pivot table number one, and pivot table number two change accordingly. So if I choose Q1, then both pivot tables change based on that selection. Now to do that, we need to select pivot table connections. One way is to go into the options tab and choose pivot table connections here on the left. Or another way is just right click in there and halfway down, we have pivot table connections and we get this pop-up box that comes up. So what it's saying is that this slicer that we created is connected to pivot table number two on the right hand side. And that's right. Now we want to activate it and connect it to pivot table number one on the left and press OK. Now we want to do the same thing for the first pivot table slicer. It's connected to pivot table number one on the left and we want to check it so it can be connected to the pivot table number two on the right and press OK. So now if we choose Q1, then both pivot tables change accordingly. Q2, Q3. If we choose the products, then as you see, both pivot tables change accordingly. So you can have multiple pivot tables, multiple slices, and you can connect them all together. And with the press of a button, they will all be in sync and talking to each other.